everybody and welcome to another great episode of Chateau Life where I, Angelina and my husband Phil live in a motored chateau with a husky dog, uh, some peacocks, some ducks and a lot of wildlife around us. If you like that sort of thing, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell button for notifications. Anyways, in today's great episode, Phil is still in UK and I am still working away through some projects. I'll come with me, I'll show you what I've got. This is what I'll be working on today. So I gave our patrons uh, a choice of um, three things that they want me to do. And one of them was to give much needed love for this uh, dressing table. And the other one was um, uh, upholster a uh, button chair, a stool that comes with the dressing table. And the third thing was to attempt to renovate a uh, beautiful bird cage that was um, gifted to me. So votes were counted and verified and that was uh, the dressing table that I'm supposed to be working on. So let's get on with that. I got this dressing table for quite a good price, but it does need um, some added things to make it look absolutely stunning and chateau-like and sort of real antique look, which I think I can do. Uh, there's a similar um, table, coffee table look that I did, um, which made it look so expensive and so luxurious. Way back, I think it was episode one and two that was inspired from Versailles. I think it was episode one, so check that out. Um, it's really gorgeous. So here, I just want to sort of enhance this um, area, which I think this is like resin, uh, which hasn't been painted. There's some detail here, so all around here, anywhere that they missed. I do want to touch up here, and the best of all, this table, like it doesn't end. It's got check out these legs. It's got detail here, sort of Rococo, and check this out, on the side, it's incredible, look at that, a little bow, I love that, and a wreath, so that is a beautiful design, I think it's a simple dressing table, and I'll be finally be able to use this as my makeup table and be really proud of it, and then afterwards I can do other projects, so Let's get on with this one. I'm really, really excited because it's been a while and I've had other projects that I couldn't complete. Um, so yeah, I, I want to get on with this. So I'm really, really excited. What I want to try and achieve with this dressing table, it's not going to be changing any color or anything like that, but do bring out the detail that some of the furniture have. And so the point of this is for you to try and see the beautiful detail in everyday items that we have and see how we can really love them. With this one, for me, it's quite easy. This is one of the things that I always do when I look and pick furniture. It has to be very, like, it has to have some kind of beautiful detail for me to to enhance and I think I can do really good justice on this table. So without further ado I'm going to get on with it and do the rub and buff method. Where I'm literally just rubbing gold along the edges and enhancing it wherever I like it. So all I'm doing here is using an old sock or rag. This is my sock. Trusty, as you can see, I've done it many times with this one. And this, whatever's left over it, I've got this, uh, it's gold leaf. The brand is um, Rub and Buff. I've got it in the links in the description, so check them out. But yeah, it's, um, it's like metallic wax and it hardens over time. And all you literally do is um, sort of rub it along where you want the gold leaf to remain, to stick to. And, um, and over time, 
it'll harden, I say over time, like overnight or whatever, a few hours, and it just sticks to everything, wood, plastic, metal, it's incredible, and it really does enhance um, all the features of any furniture or any sort of project that you're working on, I mean, that's just beautiful. And it comes in different colors as well. There's many different gold colors. So once you go through um, different color golds, you'll start to learn which one's your favorite. So I like the classic gold for now or something like gold, but there are areas where I like to have um, like European gold or Renaissance gold. It just depends whatever you're restoring or trying to fit in. But it's nice and simple as that to literally do that. See, I'm just literally just rubbing and enhancing. And a little goes a long way. I'm literally like squeezing a tiny bit. See? And um, it hardens really, really hard. So you don't have to put any lacquer on or anything like that over this gold because it's got carnauba wax, which is one of the hardest setting waxes there is generally used in the car polish industry for car shows and that's it it's as easy as that and let's see what we can do on these handles enhancing their beauty and it does have metallic particles therefore the shine is actually from basically the sort of metal dust, as far as I understand. It's beautiful. Look at that shine in comparison to the dullness. It certainly leaves a lovely sheen, doesn't it? I just love it. the other handles look like in comparison you see these two are done and the rest look very very dull so I'll brighten those up too So this DIY enhancement project is going well. I mean, it's looking so much more beautiful and more authentic. I mean, take a look at my paneling over there. The back, it matches and it's so much more shadowy and sort of totally what I'm after and kind of based on Palace of Versailles, you know, it's all gold everywhere and creams and just screams luxury. And I absolutely love it. So that's nice and simple. I'm just going to finish doing these bits which somebody has previously painted it's kind of gone greeny or whatever it's it had a reaction or something anyway so i'm going to finish up on this do the side and then we'll move on in uh inside so let's do that i love it it's almost like the furniture's coming alive or something it's so great it makes me happy every time a furniture's well, a restored, you know, call it restored because otherwise it would be unloved, unused. Um, yeah, it looks great. So now all the gold will be matching all throughout the piece of furniture. And now it's the turn for the legs. Let's do exactly the same thing. But God, they are gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that detail, it's as simple as that. It's quick and easy to do and just revamps the whole furniture piece. And in case you're asking, my finger is gold finger. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm really, really happy the way it's turned out. That was nice, quick and easy and something that you guys can do at home to enhance things if you're interested in that. Now, the last thing I need to do is um, do something with these drawers. They're a bit boring <laughs> and um, I'd like to, uh, to make it nice and pretty, but I don't want to paint them. So I'm thinking of putting a, um, a nice wallpaper, which I have here inside cutting it inside putting a bit of pva glue and then sticking it on the bottom and that will really look beautiful so for inside the drawers i plan to measure out the drawer inside and cut it to size and i'm going to be using this lovely vinyl wallpaper that i have it's kind of gray silver effect look at that it's quite nice. Um, it's almost like tour de jour, but it's not. It's nice big print and it's quite elegant. So I really, really like that. But the other alternative you could use is what are those really beautiful perfume sheets uh, that you usually put in the drawers. Um, I couldn't get any out here in France, so I'm using this instead. But it's the same method and it keeps everything nice, neat and clean. And it's beautiful inside as well as outside in that case. So what I'm using here to complete this project is obviously I've got uh, some measuring tapes. I've got a um, cutting razor blade and I've got my cutting mat. And obviously I'm gonna measure this, then cut it to size. I'm making measurements on my mat exactly of what I need, which I can then tidy up. And once that is all done and cut, I'm gonna pre-measure it and make sure it all fits. And then I'll just uh, um, I'll brush on some of this diluted PVA in there and um, set it aside to set for like 24 hours and I'll fill it in tomorrow and we'll be able to start using straight away and um, I'll have a beautiful dining, uh, sorry, dressing table that I can do my makeup on. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that because it's going to be another complete project. And obviously the nice thing about that is it's very inexpensive, very quick to do. And if it gets dirty, then I plan to just replace it with a, the wallpaper again. And um, that will always remain clean, nice and tidy and lovely looking inside. <laughs> And this is what I meant. It looks beautiful, nice and neat, and keeps everything nice and tidy inside. This was nice, quick and easy to do and all the drawers are done. Now I'm leaving them slightly open ajar so they can dry overnight and I'll check them out tomorrow and then obviously be able to use it straight away there afterwards. But yeah, this was nice, quick and easy to do and anyone can do this because it's just so simple but a great transformation. 
So it's the next day and everything is nice and dry inside the drawers and it's finished obviously and I can even buff it slightly more to get more shine out of it, um, out of the uh, gold section but it's beautiful and it's perfect as my makeup dressing table. Now after this obviously I do have a matching uh, stool which I'll do later on uh, at some point but yeah this one's going to be quite interesting project because um, the seat itself is buttoned so that's going to be a bit challenging but it's the same thing it does have um, a detail on there which I can enhance and hopefully this was easy enough and interesting enough for you guys to do something similar to some of your furniture and inspired you to do some of it and as always guys thank you so much for watching sharing subscribing if you like this project do remember to do that and hit the bell notification button so that you receive all the latest notifications Sharing is very helpful and sharing is caring, guys. So do consider doing that. That'll be so grateful. And as always, thank you to all our patrons to make decide which piece to do. And this was the winner. Um, look forward to many more with you guys. And as always, thank you so much for all the coffees that anyone has bought us. It really does help the channel along, along with patrons to keep it running and keep those inspirations coming. And why not check out some of the social media channels that we have for behind the scenes, or some beautiful pictures of our place and the projects that we're getting on with or possible projects. And why not check out some of the Teespring link below, which is full of our souvenirs, designs that we created if you guys want to to get a little souvenir from our channel. Check out some of the previous episodes that are coming up on the screen now as a suggestion for you to go and check out to get inspired of uh, similar projects that I did to this one and hopefully that gets you motivated and gets your ideas thinking about some of the projects that you've got lying around in the house. But for now guys, stay safe. Enjoy the projects that you have in your homes. Maybe some of this was inspirational to you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.